I want to address Antonio Brown and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Antonio Brown signed a one-year deal to join Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And boy, oh boy, I love what Tampa Bay is doing as a football team. Their organization gets it. When you can go all in to win a Super Bowl, you flat out go out and do it. That's why I've been so critical of the Green Bay Packers the last couple of years because they've had a generational talent in Aaron Rodgers at quarterback, and they have been reluctant to spend money. They've been reluctant to spend money in free agency. They don't make trades. They don't take risks. They just say, eh, we'll draft players. No, Tampa actually goes out and gets things done. I like the way the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are operating at this moment. So, Antonio Brown, what does he mean to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as we speak today? Well, with the addition of Antonio Brown, former All-Pro wide receiver, to me, still he's still arguably one of the best wide receivers in the entire NFL if he's relatively healthy. You know, Antonio Brown, when he was last seen, he was the best wide receiver in all football, arguably. It was either him or Julio Jones. Him or, him or Julio Jones were bowing out for who was the best wide receiver in all football. In 2017, Antonio Brown led the NFL in receiving yards despite missing two games. In 2018, he led the NFL in touchdown catches. And as far as I speak today, I can't find very many wide receivers that I would choose to start my football team with over Antonio Brown. Now, now, Antonio Brown has been out of the game of football for a little while, but Antonio Brown, we know about his track record. You know, we can talk about Antonio Brown being a diva all we want. The one thing we know about Antonio Brown is when he's on that football field, he's a special player. So he's a top five wide receiver as far as I'm concerned until proven otherwise. So Tampa, they just added arguably a top five wide receiver in the game right now. And you already have Mike Evans, who's who's definitely a top 10 wide receiver. Chris Godwin's great. Scotty Miller's been playing well. Not to mention you have Kimmer Bray and, and Rob Gronkowski at tight end already. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers already were one of the three most talented teams in football on offense when it comes to their skill position players. Now, in my opinion, I'm sorry, Kansas City, but when I look at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense on paper, that's the best offense on paper as far as the skill position players, okay? Now, you can debate between quarterback, you know, and running back and things of that nature, and maybe Kansas City gets the edge, but as far as the wide receiver core, oh, Tom Brady, he has got weapons galore. He's got weapons for days, man, and that's a big reason why Tom Brady left the Patriots. You know, we look at Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick didn't even attempt to trade for a guy like Le'Veon Bell. I know he's a running back, but he's definitely a good, viable option at wide receiver out of the backfield. He didn't even try to acquire Le'Veon Bell for Cam Newton. For whatever reason, Bill Belichick refuses to address the wide receiver position in New England. Meanwhile, Tampa Bay, they're the opposite. They say, hey, Tom Brady, we know you got Mike Evans. We know you got Scotty Miller. We know you got all these great weapons. Guess what? We'll give you Antonio Brown, another toy to play with. So Tampa Bay, as we speak today, they have an A-plus wide receiver and tight end core, if you combine the two groups, okay? Now, the move that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers made to acquire Antonio Brown will be a move that does one of two things. I don't think there's really any in-the-middle situation in regards to this move for Antonio Brown. Either this move is the move that we are going to look back on and say, this won Tampa Bay Super Bowl 55, or... We're going to look back on this move, and we're going to say this blew up the chemistry of the team, and it's potentially the reason why Tampa Bay flopped in 2020. Here's the thing you have to understand about Antonio Brown and this Tampa Bay Buccaneers team. Tampa Bay did not need Antonio Brown to go out there and win a Super Bowl. That's just my opinion. I felt that they were talented enough to win the Super Bowl before Antonio Brown got there, and they were actually my Super Bowl pick during the preseason, okay? I picked them to win Super Bowl 55. So here's the thing, man. Tom Brady is going to throw the football to whoever is open. And Antonio Brown, he's used to being force-fed the football when he was in Pittsburgh with Big Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger would give Antonio Brown 12 to 15 targets a game sometimes. Sometimes Ben Roethlisberger would target Antonio Brown 20 times a game. It was ridiculous. And while it's there's reason to target Antonio Brown a bunch of times, just because he's a very talented wide receiver, Tom Brady is not like Ben Roethlisberger. Tom Brady, he's going to throw to whoever is open. He's going to make the game-winning plays. 
And sometimes that might bother Antonio Brown. You know, Antonio Brown, he's the same guy that was mad at Juju Smith-Schuster for getting team MVP over him, even though Antonio Brown led the NFL touchdown catches that same season. So Antonio Brown has shown that at times he can be a little selfish. He can be a little aloof, okay? You know? And he's the same guy that melted down with the with the Raiders when John Gruden and Mike Mayock showed him nothing but love. He's the same wide receiver that couldn't last a full month with the New England Patriots, arguably the most stable organization in the entire NFL outside of Pittsburgh. There are some questions about Antonio Brown, and I could see a scenario where Bruce Arians or Tom Brady feels the need to get Antonio Brown involved in the offense a little bit more than necessary just to keep him happy. But at the same time, if I'm Tampa Bay, here's what I'm doing. I'm making it clear to, to Antonio Brown that, hey, man, listen, we know you're talented. We brought you in, but you're not above the team. We're going to make the plays that are going to win the football game. We're going to run the football with Ronald Jones if we need to because Ronald Jones right now, he's fifth in the NFL in rushing yards. He's fifth in the NFL in rushing yards right now as we speak today at the time of this episode. We're going to run the football if we need to. We're going to throw to Rob Gronkowski if he has a favorable matchup. We're going to throw to Mike Evans if he has the better matchup. So Antonio Brown. He's got to grow up fast with this team because Tom Brady, he's got, he's not going to deal with Antonio Brown's nonsense. And Bruce Arians, he's a guy that has a strong personality. You don't want to clash with Bruce Arians if you're Antonio Brown because he doesn't deal with nonsense. So, you know, this could be a situation in which Antonio Brown comes in and screws up the chemistry of this Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense. But honestly, that might be short-lived just because you can honestly cut Antonio Brown if – He's acting a fool and not doing his job. So either way you slice it, I believe it's a win-win situation for Tampa Bay. You keep Antonio Brown away from Green Bay. You keep him away from Seattle. You keep him away from New England or or um, Baltimore if you see them in the Super Bowl. You keep Antonio Brown away from some of these teams that may have wanted Antonio Brown in the first place. And listen, if Antonio Brown gets cut by you guys, I guarantee you Seattle's not going to bring him in. I darn sure know the Ravens are not going to bring Antonio Brown in because they could have signed they could have signed Antonio Brown a long time ago. I mean, Antonio Brown, he's cousins with Marquise Hollywood Brown. It makes all the sense in the world for the Ravens to go out there and sign Antonio Brown. And honestly, to keep it a buck fifty with you guys, the Ravens need Antonio Brown more than the Buccaneers. So again, it's a very interesting move. I'm very interested to see how this plays out in Tampa Bay. If this thing works the way I think it can work, Tampa Bay. They're as close to a Super Bowl lock as you can get. Now, I'm not going to officially name them Super Bowl locks just because you still got to go through Russell Wilson. You still got to go through the bad man Aaron Rodgers. I know the Tampa Bay Buccaneers destroyed Green Bay recently, but I think that Aaron Rodgers will have something for that Buccaneers defense the second time around if he sees them in the playoffs. You still might have to beat Kansas City in the Super Bowl. But honestly, guys, like I said earlier, on paper, Tampa Bay has arguably the best roster in the entire NFL with the addition of Antonio Brown. And Antonio Brown will be either the reason the Buccaneers win Super Bowl 55, or he potentially could be the reason they lose out on an opportunity to do something special in 2020. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows. Or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.